How to make professional YouTube banner in Canva Creating a YouTube banner in Canva ensures your channel looks professional and visually appealing, enhancing its overall branding and attracting more viewers. Now here's how we are going to get this done. First things first, you can just go ahead and look for a YouTube banner here at the top, just like so. And you should be able to see here a lot of templates for YouTube banners that people have already been using. Now you can go ahead and try to customize some of these and make it more personal. But yeah, if you want to start from the scratch, just go ahead and click this one right here. Now with regards to the size, this is actually quite important. So what we are going to do first is identify the size of this one. So in order for us to identify the size, just go ahead and click the share button in here. Go ahead and click the download and you should be able to see it in here. So this is 2560 by 1440 and it's exactly what you should be doing. So yep, the next thing that we are going to do is uh, look for a YouTube banner size. So just go ahead and click the images and then we're just going to go ahead and copy one of these. So I'm going to try this one right here. This is going to serve as our guide. So I'm going to copy this image and I'm going to go ahead and put it here. All right, there you go. Now I'm going to basically fit this to the entire screen. Now from this point forward, go ahead and hit that elements and then click the line. Now this is actually more on the side of me editing and personalizing them so you can opt to do this one later or you can just go ahead and skip that. Now I'm going to add another element and the element that I am going to add is uh, this one right here. It is going to be a rectangle and I'm just going to go ahead and form this one here. Alright just like that and I'm going to copy it. I'm going to go ahead and paste it down here below. Now the next thing that I'm going to do is just delete this one. Now we're going to proceed so we're going to put that back here and then the next thing that I am going to do is add my logo. Uh, I'm going to click the elements and then we're just going to go ahead and try to create a channel from the scratch. So say for example this is my logo or my profile picture on YouTube. I'm just going to go ahead and put it here. Um, yeah, just like that and then another thing is uh, this one so honeybee color palette so I'm just going to go ahead and look for color palette exactly as how I want it to be all right so I'm going to proceed with this one um, not very ideal I guess let's try to find okay I think I'm going to go ahead and settle with these two colors so I'm going to copy this one I'm going to put it here and for the top we're going to choose this one so i'm going to click this click this and then we're going to choose the color picker the same thing with the color below click this click this click this and maybe something like that how about the other one no i think the, the this one fits better so let's try to close this one and delete this all right, um, I think this is not dark enough, so we're going to adjust this one, make it a little darker. All right, so I think that should be good enough. Now, the next thing that we are going to do is basically add some text. So I'm going to click this one right here, add a heading, and then I'm going to put the name of the channel on the top, Organic Honey. Say, for example, if this is the name of the channel, and then choose Anton because Anton is going to be my... Uh, brand font so it's going to be the one that I'll be using more often all right we're going to adjust the picture we're going to put this in the center all right now if you want to add something else here you can definitely do that one the font color we're going to change this one as well so um, we're going to add back the picture where is it this one right here now instead of that plain black I'm gonna try to use this one does that work or if not, we're going to try to use the other one. Or we can even try this one right here. Alright, so you're going to go ahead and try to choose which is your preference. I'm going to try and settle with this one right here. Now, another thing is we're going to go ahead and add a few more things in here. I'm just going to go ahead and add a few more. Um, first is going to be text. Another one is going to be a text. So I'm going to go ahead and put here fresh, healthy, and sweet. So yeah, just something like that is very basic. Now I'm going to adjust the size of this. Uh, let's try to settle with say for example 48. Okay, we're going to make it a bit bigger than that. So how about 64? Okay, 64 it is. Alright, I'm just going to go ahead and put it here. Alright, so it's going to be something like this. 
Um, maybe we can make it a little bit smaller. All right, there you go. Now you can click this once again, and then you can go ahead and try to choose a different font. Um, let's try to choose something else. All right, let's just say something like that. Now you can go ahead and find more elements here to add. Um, say for example, I'm just going to go ahead and try to put uh, this one right here, or maybe this one. Let's try to make you a bit smaller, and we're going to put you in here. I think that's enough. Now the next thing that I'm going to do is just basically make this a lot bigger. So basically to expand this one to the entire file itself. All right, there you go. All right, here's how it looks. But basically when you are going to upload it, what you will be seeing is a little bit or most likely it's going to be this one right here in the center. So that one that belongs in here. There you go. So this is what you're going to be seeing mostly. Um, yep, that's why I did something like that. And yes, it says here this is going to be visible on TV. This is going to be for desktop. And then most likely this is going to be visible for all devices. So that's why we did something like that. So yep, congratulations everybody. That is how you are going to do it. Upgrading to Canva Pro has been a game changer for people who are serious about getting top quality designs even if they are beginner whose knowledge of designing is limited. It offers a suite of advanced design tools and exclusive templates that can elevate the quality of your projects. Should you be interested, click that link on the description box and the comment section below and enjoy amazing perks just for you. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button down below.